Now the first step is to restart the computer. Simply restart the computer and after the system restart you can launch the game. Next step is to install easy anti-cheat. Now for this make a right click on the game. Select manage click on browse local files. Now open game folder. Open easy anti-cheat folder. Here you can see install option. Install file. Make a right click and then make sure that you run it as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. And then you, once done you can press any key over here. Now relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. And then here you can see easy anti-cheat in this location. Go to the game installation folder. Make a right click on the easy anti-cheat setup file. Copy this or you can just make a right click. Show more option and then send to desktop shortcut. Now you can go to desktop. Here you can see easy anti-cheat setup shortcut file. Make a right click and then go to properties. Go to the target option at the end of the path. You will see quotation. So give one space and then you have to type in this install. This is provided in the video description. So after quotation, there is one space, then install space P R O D slash hyphen fn and then hit apply click on ok and once done make a right click on this shortcut and run as administrator click on yes to allow and then you can relaunch the game and then check still not working you can verify the game files make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to rename the config folder to rename the config folder now before you rename the config folder let me inform you all the saved settings will be lost so to rename the config folder you can open file explorer and then go to this pc open c right now open users folder now open your username folder now open app data if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show project on hidden items and then open app data folder now open the local folder here you can see aoc folder open this folder open saved folder here you can see config folder make a right click rename you can rename this folder and then you can relaunch the game and then check still not working you can rename the save game files now when you rename the save game files before you rename it create a backup first because all the save game progress will be lost you have to start everything from scratch so create a backup first now for this go to the same location go to this location this is the location go to the location here you can see aoc folder make a right click copy this folder create a backup maybe you can paste to the desktop once you have a backup created now you can make a right click on aoc and then you can rename this and once you rename it now you can relaunch the game and then check still not working you can skip the launcher to skip the launcher make a right click on the game set on steam and then set, make a right click manage browse local files now open the game folder here you can see the aoc client you can make a double click launch the game from here and then check if that does not work you can open aoc folder binaries win64 here you can see the aoc win64 exe file you can just make a double click launch the game and then you can check so launch the game from here and then check still not working the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder now for this again you have to run the game as an administrator so again open the game folder make a right click on the on this exe file run as administrator and then check if that does not work open aoc folder binaries win64 make a right click go to properties go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working go to properties this time you can put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check you can even try windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok follow the next step now the next step is to if you are using any third party antivirus or if you are using windows security open windows settings go to privacy and security windows security click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on 
allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add in allowed app browser apps go to the game installation folder wherever the game is installed in my case this is the location and open the game folder select the game exe file click on, click on open and then again browser apps and then open aoc folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on open again add in web browser apps go back and then open the launcher folder and then select the launcher exe file over here and then click on open now type in control panel in window search box click on control panel system and security windows defender firewall allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings allow another app click on browse go to the game installation folder select the launcher open add in my case it is already added again allow another app click on browse and then open uh, go to the game installation folder open the game folder open the game folder over here select this exe file click on open click on add once added again allow another app click on browse and then open aoc folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on open add again allow another app click on browse and then go back again back back open easy anti-cheat you can select this add it over here now you can relaunch the game and then check similarly if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow all the exe file to your antivirus program next is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website now once you go to nvidia website select your graphic card over here make sure that you select your graphic card your operating system and then click on find Now on this page you will find the latest GeForce Game Ready Driver. Whichever is the latest GeForce Game Ready Driver, you can click on View, and then on this page click on Download, and let the download complete. Once the download is complete, you can run this .exe file. Click on it. Click on Yes to allow. Click on OK, and then click on Agree and Continue. Select Custom option over here, and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check over here and then click on next after the clean installation restart your computer after the system restart you can launch the game similarly if you have amd card you can go to amd website select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card this is just an example i don't have amd graphics select your graphic card click on submit and then select your operating system whichever is the latest amd graphic card driver click on download install it restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game still not working run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box click on graphic settings click on add desktop app over here and then go to the game installation folder select the game exe file and then click on add once the game is added over here click on the game and then select high performance over here you will see your graphic card over here now again scroll up add desktop app open aoc folder binaries win64 select this exe file this is the main exe file once the game is added click on the game select high performance you will see your graphic card over here now you can launch the game similarly desktop users make sure that you connect your sdmi or display cable to the dedicated graphic card slot not the motherboard slot next step is to Disable integrated graphic card. Make a right click on the start menu. Go to device manager. Expand display adapter. If your computer has a dual graphic card like me, like one is Intel, other is Nvidia, so you have to disable the integrated graphic card. Make a right click and then you can click on disable device. You relaunch the game and then check. Once you are done playing the game, or if, you, if or if you face any problem, you can come back and then you can enable the device once again and then check. Still not working, roll back graphics card driver. So if the latest graphic card driver is not working, after you select your graphic card, your operating system on NVIDIA website, you can scroll down, click on view more versions. Maybe you can try to install the older graphic card driver. Click on view, download it, install it, restart your computer and then check. Similarly, if you have AMD card, once you select your graphic card, your operating system, uh, you can... Select your graphic card, your operating system, and then on, on this page, click on previous versions, select your operating system, which uh, you can try to inst install the older graphic card driver, download it, install it, restart your computer, and then check. Still not working, try power saver mode. Now for this, you can type in control panel in Windows search box, click on control panel, click on 
hardware and so on power options over here you will see power saver in my case i have only balance but if you see power saver like this you can select power saver and then relaunch the game you can even try balance or high performance but first of all try power saver and then check still not working type in graphic settings in windows search box click on graphic settings click on advanced graphic settings if hardware accelerated gpu scheduling if this is off turn it on and then relaunch the game if this is already on turn it off relaunch the game and then you can check still not working the next step is to install visual c plus plus file for this you can open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website scroll down here you can see x86 and x64 version you have to download both the files x86 you can click on it and then run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow download this x64 file as well again run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow and let the installation complete make sure both are installed once installed restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to update windows to the latest version for this you can go to windows update or update and security click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to update the bios so go to your system manufacturer website uh, so if, if you have a dell computer go to dell if you have lenovo go to lenovo whichever brand you have go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and then update the bios in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter is connected to the computer when you update the bios and then check still not working unplug all the external devices like if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnected disconnect a controller connected to the computer if you have any extra controller con disconnected disable steam overlay now for this you can make a right click on the game select properties and then turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game turn it off relaunch the game and then check if you have any other overlay application running like discord running go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running go to nvidia app settings and turn off this nvidia overlay turn it off close nvidia app so close all kinds of overlay application and then check do not overclock you can set it to default close all overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner reward tuner any kind of uh, overclocking application running close it any kind of third party application services which you are not using this you can just close it and then check if you have undervolted you can be able to remove the undervolt and then launch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings over here and then under advanced click on settings the first setting and then click on advanced tab and then click on change over here you have to uncheck the box and then you have to select the drive where the game is installed make sure that you select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom size and we, for initial size is 1.5 multiplied total ram for maximum is 3 multiplied total ram so you can check total ram in windows settings go to system and then go to about option and over here you can see in my case it's 16 gigabytes so you have to calculate as per your ram and if you face any problem we can always revert back to the settings so do not worry about it so for in my case it's 16 gigabyte multiplied 1024 that is total total ram in megabyte for initial size it's 1.5 multiplied 1.5 that is 24576 for maximum size it's total ram that is 16 multiplied 1024 in my case 16384 megabyte then three times multiplied three that is for maximum size it's four nine one five two in my case and then you have to click on set set is important make sure that it hit set and then click on ok and then ok ok now relaunch the game and then check if that does not work then type in view advanced system settings again and then click on view advanced system settings go to settings over here click on change uh, advanced tab and then click on change and then select system manage size this time and then click on set set is important click on ok click on ok over here hit apply click on ok ok you will see restart option restart your computer and then check still not working we will revert to default so you can type in view advanced system settings once again settings advanced change and put a check on this box and then hit apply click on ok follow the next step 
still not working the next step is to the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives so if nothing is working you can uninstall the game and then install the game to c drive so if the game was installed to d drive or e drive or any external drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game was already installed to c drive then try installing the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel